And today we're talking about anxiety and how we can help ourselves and our friends from feeling too anxious during this time. What is your role as part of the East Sussex Youth Cabinet? I've been on since December. Currently we're working on a big social media campaign for the virus. Mm. Originally we were doing environment and knife crime. So I was in the Youth Cabinet from 2015 to 2019. So most of that time we were campaigning on mental health. And originally we produced a document for teachers to support young people in schools. So we created a similar one for parents. Hello, my name is Oda Ray and I'm reporting for Make Good Travel. Um, I'm interviewing young people from the East Sussex um, Youth Cabinet for a series of films about how coronavirus and lockdown is affecting young people. And go check out their Stay um, social media campaign campaign that aims to support young people to stay well, stay home, stay informed and stay sunny. What do you think is causing anxiety in young people during this pandemic? Uncertainty about the future really. They're worried about school. They don't know what's going to happen when they go back to school. They're worried about their families and friends. They don't know how they're coping with the virus. But like, what's it going to be like once everything goes back to normal? A big thing is that lack of control. Because when you're a teenager, in that stage of your life, you're trying to become more independent. And I think with this virus, that independence has kind of been all taken away. And I think that does kind of create a feeling of annoyance and frustration. Do you have any techniques that young people um, could use to support their mental health um, during this time? So there's so many different things you can do and it, it really depends on who you are. So no matter like what sort of physical fitness you have already in, like moving your body as much as possible, you need to be able to find that connection between like your mind and your body because it, it keeping that alive and it helps you to feel normal. The effect of physical physical activity in your mental health is really beneficial so it doesn't just have to be running it could be yoga dancing and creativity as well is really important we're facing so many new emotions that we've never come across before we never it's important to find a way to express these things in different ways because otherwise bottling these things up really isn't going to be useful and it's going to cause a lot of damage in the long term at the moment the news is saying that some young people don't understand the seriousness of the virus why do you think that is and do you agree with it Definitely at the beginning of the virus, when they were first saying about the lockdown, there were a lot of people who were not going inside and not following the lockdown. But I don't think that was just young people. I think that was all ages of people because they just didn't understand. I think there is that fear that we could start seeing more gatherings out in public. People may start to get bored. What can teens and parents do to help with feelings of anxiety? Where can they find help from? Are there any specific places? Where to find help? So as the Youth Cabinet, the resource we produced for parents is on a website called Open for Parents. So that resource we created was tips on talking about mental health. I guess when you're trapped in a confined space with your parents, it would seem like every time is a good time to talk about mental health. Let people process things as well. You can't talk about stuff constantly. You need to have your own time to think about it and deal with it. Things like Mind, um, Young Minds, CAMS, everything. They have so many good resources, especially coming out around the pandemic. Um, Plan UK as well, providing resources for young girls in lockdown. Trying to understand each other's situations. So parents who are worried about their job and financial security are going to have very different worries to teenagers whose university open days have been cancelled and exams have been cancelled. Being empathetic, thinking about what that person's situation is and although it might be different, the feelings are probably the same. So what would you say to someone who is feeling anxious um, during this time? So I think at the moment there is a lot of negativity going around about the virus and it is easy to get caught up in all that. You need to also think of positives. Whenever you think of a negative thought, maybe you could try and think of something you're grateful for in that moment. And that can kind of balance that anxiety. So you're thinking of good things and bad things. And you can appreciate everything you're getting out of the lockdown rather than just what you're losing. I think my message would be focus on looking after yourself. There's a lot of people saying how you need to be incredibly productive, you need to come up this lockdown, a changed person, and you need to manage the basics at this time. You don't need to worry about everything else. Just focus on keeping yourself happy and safe. Thank you guys so much for your time today. Your advice and tips is really going to help families and young people who are strong, struggling during lockdowns. Thank you so much.